Okay, so in this video, I want to discuss how you can uh, get 3D printable files without actually making the 3D files yourself. So for instance, if you know that there's going to be a certain object out there that will be made by someone else and you would want to go to the effort of remaking that particular file, um, this is going to be a great option for you. Um, as well as that, if you are not able to use CAD software, computer aid design, like SOLIDWORKS or AutoCAD uh, or Onshape, um, you will not be able to make a 3D file which can be printed. So this is, again is, is a good option for you. Now I have three different websites that I'm going to show you where you can get pre-made files that will be good enough for you to use as files for your slicing software, which will basically make that path for your 3D printer to follow, to then print. So the first website I want to show you is called Thingiverse. I would say it's the most popular um, 3D printing um, object, I suppose, database um, available at the minute. All you have to do is look up Thingiverse. You can click into the www.thingiverse.com website, and then straight away you're shown popular models, or popular models in the last 30 days um, that you can pick download and slice and put printing. So for instance, if we want to go to, let's say, learn, and we'll go to engineering, and then we will go to uh, most popular of all time, and then we see some objects that we can 3D print. Now they're going to vary in the difficulty it will be to print them. So obviously you'll need a fairly good 3D printer to print some of these detailed models, as well as that it will be printed in multiple sections and there'll be some assembly involved. Um, but it can be very handy for some of the basic objects. For instance, you can do this nut and bolt, uh, where you can just download these files and print these four parts and then you're working nuts and bolts. We have a look at another one, then you can see some model air engines, some windmills, and so on and so on. And all you really need to do is click into these and download them, and then you have your STL file. And then that STL file can be used to slice, which we'll talk about in a different video. Now, another website that you can use is Printables, which is Prusa's website. Now, Prusa sell the Prusa 3D printers which would be, I suppose, the best choice of printers for um, for your money, really, for under a thousand euro. Uh, Prusa tend to have the, the highest quality and most reliable 3D printers. And all you have to do is go into your website, go to your 3D models. And again, similarly to Thingiverse, it will have a sort of the same setup with some of the same categories where you can look down through them and identify certain ones that you want to print. And uh, there will be some repeat files across, but then there will be some files that will be unique to this platform. For instance, we have a nice cable organizer here, which you can attach to the side of your desk, which you can click on, and then you can download those 3D files to then print. Now, the last option is a bit more advanced. It's called GrabCAD. GrabCAD is not just for, um, for SDL files for 3D printing. It actually has all type of files for CAD softwares. Now it does have some SDL files, which you can specify by going into some of these categories. But what I tend to do is I go for the software that I use. So for instance, if I was using SOLIDWORKS, so you'd have to have a bit of knowledge about SOLIDWORKS. And if you search for solid work items, now there's going to be some very detailed items here that you're not going to want. Um, but there is going to be a lot of items um, that you can use. For instance, if you want to 3D print a hinge of some sort, you can search hinge and leave it on um, SOLIDWORKS. You can select the hinge that you would like to 3D print. Some of these won't be 3D printable because they might be too, um, how could you say, too complicated for a 3D printer. But something basic like this one here, you can click on it, you will get the files for SOLIDWORKS, you can download them, and then in SOLIDWORKS you can save them as an STL file, and then use them to slice and print on your 3D printer. Now, really for the beginners who don't have that knowledge of computer aid design, I would stick with these first two websites, 
and choose your files off this and then print them. 